Hi, I'm John Denzel-Dines and welcome back to Orange Answers. Today we're going to be looking at getting a single channel amp to behave a bit more like a two channel amp using a few different pedals. So single channel amps are popular for a number of reasons. They're easy to use, have a nice simple signal path, less on them to go wrong and tend to be more affordable than channel switching amps. That said, some players are worried that a single channel amp might be a bit of a compromise or kind of restrictive compared to a channel switching amp. So I'm going to show you how to get a bit of that versatility back with three different methods, each using a single pedal. Here I've got an OR15. It's a single channel 15 watt EL84 amp. It's got a four stage preamp that can do everything from clean to high gain saturation. And at the moment I've got it set completely clean. So I can show you the simplest way to get a second channel from a single channel amp. Down here on the floor, I've got an orange getaway driver overdrive pedal, which is what you might call an amp in a box type of pedal. It can be used as a boost, pushing an amp that's already got a bit of drive on it, but it works best mimicking a whole amp's signal path into the front of a clean amp. This is the best choice if you want to run two quite different sounds, clean and distorted. The good thing about this method is you can control the two sounds fairly independently of each other and within reason you can have either sound set to whatever volume you want. So now let's try setting the amp to the edge of breakup and pushing it into distortion using a boost. Now I'm going to be using an orange two stroke pedal which is a clean boost with a two band parametric EQ. When you're boosting an amp in this way you're always going to end up with two sounds that are fairly similar to each other which is where the EQ kind of comes in handy. This means you can use the clean boost to get the extra level and push the amp into distortion and then use the EQ to shape that second tone to separate it a little from the clean sound. First, I'm going to add some bass and cut a bit of mid-range so the boosted sound is a heavier, crunchier version of the clean sound. <laughs> Now I'll cut some bottom end and push some mids for a more traditional lead boost. This is definitely the most traditional way to get two sounds out of a single channel amp. It's great if you want a push over the cliff type boost to jump out of the mix. Although one thing you do have to consider is the more gain you've got in your clean sound, the less volume you'll add by adding the boost. You're just going to get more distortion, which might be just what you want. The last trick I'm going to show you is a bit of an unusual one, but it can work really well. I've now got an orange compressor optical compressor pedal hooked up in the OR15's effects loop with a reasonably distorted sound on the amp. What this means is I can clean up the OR15 using the guitar's volume control, but it won't lose too much volume because the compressor is going to make that back up. This is a really cool method if you want a variety of sounds that just fit right in the mix with a fairly consistent volume. It's also really good because you get those nice shimmery compressed clean sounds and a nice springy feel to the crunchier tones. I'll start with the volume rolled back about halfway. <laughs> As you can hear, this gives you all different shades of gain sounds in a fairly controlled way. And if you wanted, you could even use a clean boost after the compressor to give you all those same sounds at solo volume. Whichever way you like to run your rig, a single channel amp with one or two good pedals can still be as versatile as a channel switching amp, whilst keeping things really simple and sounding great. 
As usual, please leave any questions in the comments below and join us again for Orange Answers. I've been John Denzel Dines. Thanks for stomping.